Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're going to be talking about some stuff I saw recently on Instagram and whether or not I think I'm going to pick it up. So first up we're going to start with this from Urban Decay. This is the Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. This is going to retail for $20. It is available right now on Sephora and also on the Urban Decay website, among other places. There are a number of shades, I must say. I as I look at this picture, I am mostly drawn to like the sparkly glitter ones and obviously the purples and that sort of thing. I would really like to try this out. I just don't know if I want to spend $20 on a single one. Although I did see that I believe there is a forthcoming Sephora, like, give me some lip set that is coming out that is usually retail for about $28. So you get about six, five or six sample sizes. And at least one of those is going to contain one of these lip glosses. So I do really want to try this out. So I'm looking to get one of those little boxes instead so I can try out a couple different lip products. And if I do like it, I will probably pick up some other colors because I do think these look pretty cool. And I'm excited to try out a lip gloss that I might like. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, we have the Body Lava from Fenty Beauty. I admit that Rihanna looks beautiful when she puts this on her shoulder. It's a really lovely and effective ad campaign. However, this stuff is supposed to cost $59 a bottle. And that is a lot of money for basically a liquid highlighter. I don't think I can justify this in any way. No matter how awesome it makes Rihanna look, I'm not going to look that good. So I don't think I'm going to throw $59 at this. I think I'll just continue using the highlighters I already have. Because I do like to put highlighter on my shoulders, especially in the summertime. But I've been having some pretty good luck. I really like the Wet n Wild Loose Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And that's like $4. So, you know, I'll probably never run out of that. So while this stuff looks gorgeous, absolutely, I'm definitely not picking this up. Next we have from Urban Decay. This is the Double Team Special Effect Colored Mascara. It comes in five different shades, and frankly, they look awesome. I really want them. They cost $24 a piece. That's a lot of money for a mascara, but I love a good colored mascara, and these look really, really cool. I really, really want the green one, and I really, really want the blue one, and I'm only going to be able to buy one, I think. Uh, they're not currently available on the Sephora website. I can only get them on the Urban Decay website directly, from what I can tell. Uh, I would hope that they might show up on Sephora later because then I might pick them up during the sale that's coming up in a few, like, in a few days. I'm not exactly positive exactly when, but soon. I just, I really do love colored mascara, and I do like Urban Decay mascara. It's not my favorite, but I do think it's pretty good, so I, I really just want to buy these. I'm terrible. I don't need this, but I'm probably going to buy at least one. Next up from Milani Cosmetics, we have the Hypnotic Lights Duo Chrome Eye Toppers with a Shimmering Finish. These look super beautiful. They're coming out um, 423, so April 23rd, on their website on MilaniCosmetics.com specifically. There are five shades, and they're going to be $11. I think these look really beautiful. I just sort of feel like $11 is a little high. I'm a really big fan of the Wet n Wild liquid eyeshadows, and I do find them fairly comparable to the Stila Glitter and Glows. The Stila's are better, but you know the prices can't be beat because you know $4.99 or $3.99, depending where you live, versus $24 for a Stila. I don't know if Milani really sits so much higher that it can justify spending $11 on one of these. I just feel like that's reaching a little bit. And it's weird because certain pricing on drugstore products sort of like makes me annoyed. Like I feel like they're, they're reaching and they're asking for way too much. And I feel like this is one of those times where I don't think they can justify spending that much money on it. I think I would make more sense if it were like eight or maybe seven dollars, but I don't know that 11 is really justified here. So I might pick up one if it showed up somewhere else because I'm unlikely to order anything from Milani Cosmetics directly. I've never done so. I would be more inclined to get something from Ulta or if I found it in the drugstore. So I think this one I'm just going to hold off on it for now. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a mini matte lip kit in the pinks and berries. I just think the colors on this look really beautiful. This is available on their website. This is going to be $21. You get four mini lipsticks. I do really think the colors on these are lovely, and I really haven't tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick formula. I have tried the lip gloss, which I don't particularly care for, uh, and I have, uh, I believe I've tried one of their liquid lipsticks a long time ago, but I didn't like it, but I've been told that shade that I tried out was just not a very good shade, so I do intend at some point to try again. I am curious about these, so it might be something I want to pick up, because I do think those pinks are really great. I think I need to swatch my actual collection, though, and double-check I don't have anything exactly the same as this, which, let's be honest, I probably do. So I just am interested in these colors. They definitely jumped out at me. So I'm really considering getting this, but I'm not positive yet. So I'm going to do a little swatching in my own collection to see if I need them. But if I can find some gaps, I will probably pick this up. 
And this is a sneak peek of the Kat Von D palette that's coming out for the 10th anniversary. This is coming out on Cinco de Mayo, so May 5th. It's looking pretty darn cool. I love the artwork on this palette. I think the packaging is amazing. Usually most Kat Von D stuff is. The packaging is always really stellar. The colors in this also look pretty awesome. I'm not positive it's very different from the other palettes I already own. I'm wondering if I have, by having Saint and Sinner and by having the uh, metal mat, like the big one, but by having both of those palettes, I probably don't need this one. However, this is a good size palette. This is an appropriate size palette. This is small enough that I can travel with this, which those two other palettes are not. So honestly, even if I do have pretty similar shades available to me, I'm, I'm going to probably pick this up anyway because this is something I can travel with. I could actually travel with a Kat Von D palette that has rainbow colors in it, which would be amazing. So I don't know what the price point on this is going to be. It's probably going to be more money than I need to spend, but I'm going to buy it anyway. So I, yeah, I, I really do need this. I'm going to get it. And last but not least, we have the new Becca Glow Gloss. These are available now on the Becca Cosmetics website. They're going to be going to Sephora on 421 and to Ulta on 422. These are basically taking shades from the most popular of the highlighters, as well as a bunch of the blushes, and I think one of the bronzers as well. I am super into these. I think they look awesome. I really do love the liquid crystal glow glosses that Becca came out with. I have two of them. They're really nice. They smell delicious. The packaging is super sturdy and awesome. They look beautiful on the lips. They're all very glittery, but I mean, these look pretty darn cool. I, I just really love the shimmers. I really love, you know, the colors on all of them. I think the Dahlia shade, the second from the bottom, is super intriguing to me. But I'm also really kind of interested in that chocolate geo because I think a good copper lip gloss would be amazing. So these are going to be $22 a piece. I know that that's expensive, and I was complaining earlier about the Urban Decay glosses being $20, but yet I'm fine with the Becca being $22. I get it. I don't make any sense. But you know what? I already know I really do like the Becca glosses, and I will definitely be picking up at least one of them, possibly two. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see me do, please put that in the comments down below. Oh, girl, having a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. Bye.